What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Got something in from Vero. They had like a mystery box sale. Um, relatively cheap. Um, I think I paid $185 and it said I had a $400 value. So I went ahead and thought, you know, I'll just pick one up and see what we kind of get. See where it goes. So take it off since it's got my address and all that jazz on the box real quick. And then get it open. Alright, so there's some stuff right there. New mystery box owner. Thanks for taking part in Vera's first ever mystery box. We hope you enjoy all the goodies inside. So we wanted a copper fall. So I have a copper fulcrum. And it's limited edition fulcrum due to the softness of the copper. This should only be used as a driver and not a pry bar. Okay. So I guess you could probably use it as a flathead screwdriver too, though. Um, is it, if it's full copper, though, heck, I might scrap it. <laughs> Not really, but I do scrap wire, so um, kind of is what I do. I get extra wire from work, stuff like that, and I scrap stuff. So I scrap it, pile it up, and I take it in, and I save up money for knives and stuff with it. So I figured it's a good deal, right? But I probably won't scrap this, obviously. Limited edition, it just looks dirty. I don't know why. It's got like fingerprints, like actual fingerprints here on it. <laughs> so I'll have to maybe try to clean it up or something. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe this is how it is. I don't know. I don't know. We also got some other stuff. Got a magnet, I think. Yeah. Okay, so got a Vero magnet. Got some goodies in here. Oh, and I got a first generation. So I know I got a knife. A uh, first generation Neuron. Um... It's a non-locking double detent Vero knife. I knew that already, so so that's kind of cool. I'll take the box out of the way so I don't you know, get it in the way so I can show you all the stuff. We also got if I can get every, if I can get everything out of the daggone little bag. Good lord, I should have just ripped it open. Um, got some little Velcro little patches right here. Obviously, Vero, Vero. I don't know how much these go for on the website. Not sure about that. Got some extra little little rings for the fulcrum. Obviously, they go around it right here. I have an actual fulcrum, like, full-length pry bar. Um, hold on, let me see if I have it. Yeah, right there. I actually like this one. It's like a black stone wash. kind of cool. I really like it. really like it. So, got some extra one of those. I'll just put those with the others. I got bits and everything in here from it, so I'll probably just end up putting it in there. And then I got a bead, a lanyard bead. Uh, they were selling these. They had a white, a black, and a blue one. They were selling them all together, like all, obviously already in a lanyard. Um, I think those were going for like 20 bucks almost. So I really don't know how much this was. It's by itself. So I'm kind of curious about the value. It said that it has a four, over, I don't know if it's, a, it's got a $400 value or over a $400 value. So far, I'm not too sure. Not really hip on the fulcrum. I'm sure they had nicer fulcrums out there because they had different mystery boxes out there. Um, they had one for like, uh, this one was like the knife one. The other one had, I think, it was like $115. Like it had like a fulcrum, some other stuff with it. Then they had came out with like two or three more uh, mystery boxes when they found out how many they were selling. Um they made a couple other different types, and so they start started pumping them out. They probably made quite a bit of money off of it. It's a, They're moving. That's what it is. I guess they're moving build, buildings because if you also do, like, we are moving and, like, the code, you'll get a discount. So that, that was kind of cool. All right. So let's check out. So we might have a close to $400 value. What do we got here? We got some scales. Let's check it out. I was really kind of hoping for the titanium version i won't lie i won't lie i'm not a whole lot in the micarta um it's not bad looking though we also got jade scales and carbon fiber i will probably put these on i'm not real big in the carbon fiber but maybe out of these three they, i think the carbon fiber might look the best i don't mind the micarta though. it's not too bad i don't know if it's like a brown or yeah, I'd say it's a brown, not really a tan. Uh, this is the 
this is the one with the double detail. Now, this is the first generation. Yes, that's what it said. So, you got a back, like a back flipper, top flipper, front flipper. Kind of cool. I've always wanted to check one of these out. I just didn't know it was going to be this dagger. This is small, though. That's the thing. This is small. Smaller than I thought. And plus, without the, having the lock in it, I'm definitely probably going to treat this like a slip joint so I don't light myself up and, um, yeah, end up going, you know, maybe possibly taking a visit to the hospital. I prefer not to. Uh, it definitely is small in hand. I make small hands, so it's not too bad. My hands just fit on it. I would probably feel more comfortable right here just with my uh, index finger going right there. They still kind of fit, obviously, the most part, just the pinky's a little bit off. Not too bad. It's got jimping right here, but that's more for the front flipper. You're not going to really want to put your thumb way out here. Or you're going to push on it and <laughs> you're going to break that detent right there. It's going to start closing on you. And then it definitely will close on you and you will have a nice little cut. And no one's going to want that. I'm, uh, pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, I do like the blade shape though. I always have. I always like that. Sheep's foot. I want to say I'm going to say a sheep's foot. Um, I always like their sheep's foot and look. Oh, so you have a rear flipper, top flipper, or front flipper, and then you have your fuller. And it works pretty well. Front flipper, bam. Top flipper, top flipper, excuse me, or top or rear, I guess. I guess it's not really a top flipper. It almost opens. Yeah, so you just have the front and the rear, so, and the fuller. So they all open pretty well. I'm not too sure on the lock, though. I really. I, just like I said, it's only because I thought it would be... I knew it was not going to be a locking knife, but I'm definitely going to treat this like a slip joint because I feel like it's... I don't treat it like a slip joint because in my mind, that's what I'm thinking because it's got like the flipper tabs and all this stuff and it flips open easy. Obviously, with slip joints, you have the walk and talk. You have that point where it stops. This doesn't obviously have that, so I'm going to... I don't know. It's, also, I'm, I'm thinking of it as a regular pocket knife. In one side of my head and the other side of my brain, I'm thinking, oh, it is a slip joint and, you know, you don't want to light yourself up. So, yeah, I just got to remember that and kind of get my mindset on that. Got a nice Vero right there on top. Um, Jimping's on this is pretty nice all the way around for that. It's number 832. I don't know uh, how, of how many. So I do not know about that. Got a nice pocket clip though. I like the pocket clip. I'm kind of ready to carry this. I want to check it out. Definitely going to change out them scales, I think. So it is definitely small. Definitely light. It is skeletonized on the inside from what I saw. Obviously, it's a smaller knife, so you're not going to have a lot of weight to begin with. But it's got a few little parts right here that's skeletonized. And if you look inside, if you see the line right there and the line right there, that's the obviously the the detent where the detent ball is and everything like that so it gives it just enough pinch to kind of keep it there a little bit see it's like i'm not hitting it hard but i'm hitting it hard enough it's not doing oh, i just did it right there when i hit it that last one was a little harder so it's definitely going to break if you put pressure on it don't do that you don't want to light yourself up but i'm going to be changing them scales out but $400 value, I'm not sure. They give you the extra scales, so I guess if you don't like the scales, you can obviously uh, sell them and stuff like that. You might be able to find a buyer somewhere out there for them. I might try to sell these, maybe. I'm not really into jade, because I'm not really, you know, real jaded like that. But I, the carbon fiber, I think I'm going to try that carbon fiber out. They look kind of cool, not bad. I would like to get a stainless steel, or not stainless steel. Um, a titanium, if I can find a titanium pair, I'm probably going to try to grab those up and then I'll just sell all the other pairs. Maybe even sell them as a bundle for cheap, you know, just to get rid of them. Because if I have a titanium one, I'll, I'll probably just keep that. But, um, yeah, not bad. Not a bad little, for 185 bucks, that's really not too shabby. Um, yeah, kind of cool. I don't know, just something new to kind of check out. I kind of just want to buy some different stuff like this every now and then if I can find stuff. I think it's kind of cool. That Vero did the little mystery box. I think it's a great idea. Plus, they had to get rid of stock anyway, so this was kind of cool. Well, that's all I really got. If you have any comments, questions, anything like that, just let me know down in the comment section. And if you like the videos, leave a thumbs up. Thanks.